go. So welcome to our instructional series for Sparks Pediatric and Adolescent Medicine. Today we're going to talk about influenza. Please remember that these videos don't replace visits to your doctor. If you have questions or concerns, please see your, off, see your physician. You can make an appointment with our office at 359-7111. So let me tell you a little bit about influenza. Influenza season is typically in the late fall and early winter. And let me tell you first what influenza is not. Influenza is typically not a disease of the stomach or intestines. You usually do not throw up or have diarrhea with influenza. You can, but that's not typically how you present. So if your child is having a lot of vomiting or diarrhea, it's probably not influenza, it's something else. Influenza many times can be prevented with a flu vaccine, which is why we recommend that all children receive flu vaccines each year. We recommend them most strongly for children with pulmonary diseases like asthma, cystic fibrosis, or chronic medical diseases like heart disease um, or even diabetes. But to that end, we really recommend them for all children. Influenza many times presents with sudden onset high fevers. Uh, it may present with fever, cough, and runny nose, but sometimes just fever. For older children, teenagers, and for that matter, adults, most typically when you have the flu, you feel like you were hit by a truck. You started very well, had a nice day, and all of a sudden got very ill and couldn't figure out how you were going to get home for work, from work. If that happened to you, you probably have the flu. For younger children and for the elderly, they may or may not have that sudden onset. It may be any high fever without a whole lot of other symptoms. There is a sudden or rapid test we can do for influenza, and if you have the flu, you might benefit from therapy from certain medicines, something called Tamiflu, something called Relenza, something called Amanadine, depending on the type of influenza that you have. If you think you have the flu, contact your physician, contact our office so we can test you. If you do have the flu, we can probably treat you. Again, our office number is 359-7111.